Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing our favorite baby and kid products that are all non-toxic and clean and safe to use. So if you want to learn more about what we use on our kiddos, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'll start with things that we use in the bath tub and in the bathroom, I guess. So this is the soap along with the Young Living Kid Sense shampoo that we use. This is the Everyone Kid Soap. It's three in one body wash, bubble bath, and shampoo. We mainly use this for bubble bath because it really suds up nicely and it smells good. This is the lavender scent. These are all EWG approved, which means they have been through <laughs> rigorous testing and they are really, really safe to use. Sorry, Frankie is going crazy. So if you hear things, that's what that is. So there's a couple of oils that I like to use in the bathtub. Sometimes I make up my own little blend and put it in like a dropper bottle. But this is one of the main ones. This is Sleepy Eyes. Um, there's also one, I forgot to grab it, but it is the Seedlings Calm um, Oil by Young Living. And it's just a blend of like lavender and I think chamomile and some relaxing oils like that. Um, the other thing that I have in the bathroom is the cradle cap oil blend that I made. Um, Zara and Emery both got cradle cap pretty bad when they were younger. So we use this a lot and this works so good every time it works. So it's just lavender, frankincense, and coconut oil. What I do is just put it on the top of their head um, and let it soak for like 10 minutes and then use a really fine tooth comb and kind of just comb it. <clears throat> and that took care of it um, the first try. It never got too bad though. If it gets super bad, you might have to do it like two or three times. Um, let's see. Okay, the next few things are just things that I have in Zara's room, so our nursery. Um, this, I forgot about this because we haven't had to use it in a while, but this is Maddie's um, Chest Rub. We love this brand. They have a few other things too, but this is my favorite product. Um, this is just like Vicks Vapor Rub, but it's a clean brand. has lavender, chamomile, eucalyptus. So good. Um, the next thing that I have in... Her room is she gets eczema pretty bad depending on like the season and what she's been eating lately. But anyways, there's two different um, creams that we like. This one's Baby Ganex. Um, I think I got this at TJ Maxx, but you can get it, I think, probably at Target, um, maybe Meyer. Um, and then this is the Userin Baby Eczema Relief. This one works really, really good too. And this is all fragrance-free and um, steroid-free. And this one's clean too. I didn't scan this one, but I'm assuming it's good. Um, let's see. The next thing, uh, diaper cream. So I just got this one, so I'm not, I haven't been using it for a long time yet, but this one I wanted to mention, it's by Little Skincare. It's called their Butt Butter. It's loaded with vitamins A, D, and E. It's super clean, um, and it smells really good. I love that it's in a tub like this. Makes it for easier, um, makes it easier to get, but it smells Good, and it's just like a creamy, it, the main ingredient is zinc oxide, I believe. Yeah, it's 10% zinc oxide, so it's a really good one. And then we also use this all the time. And I've had this forever, and it's still, like I can feel it's like up to here. And I've used this so much. I've had it for probably, um, well, like two years. Um, but it's talc-free, and it's probiotically enhanced, and this is um, a baby powder. So it's a good alternative to like the old-fashioned uh, Johnson & Johnson's powder that you shouldn't be using. Um, and I think that's, oh, I have two more things. So this is the sunscreen that we just got, and um, so my thing with sunscreen is that with the kids, it's super um, hard to put sunscreen on that's not a spray. So I just saw my friend Allie post about how to make a sunscreen into a spray one. So basically you get this, um, I think you have to get the specific spray bottle, but you just mix the sunscreen with um, fractionated coconut oil and it makes it into more of a liquid form and you can spray it on. So I'm gonna try that, but this is the Hello Bella one. This is one of our favorite clean brands because it's available at Walmart and it's super cheap. We like their diapers, wipes, um, sunscreen, bug spray, sanitizer spray, everything by them, it's so good. And then last thing, I spray this on Zara's bed every night. This is the Seedlings um, Linen Spray. This is super calming, it smells so good and just helps her calm down and um, sleep. They have a whole seedlings line by Young Living, and that oil that I mentioned earlier is the oil that's used in to make this. So what I do actually is, I've already had to refill it, I've had this forever, but I just filled it with water, um, witch hazel, and then the seedlings oil, and you can remake it, DIY it. 
Um, and then the last couple of things are just oils. So I already mentioned this one, the sleepy eyes that I put in the bathtub sometimes. But this one I also put on Zara's like chest and her back um, just before bedtime and it's so relaxing. I also put this in her diffuser. And there's also an owie oil that we use on literally any kind of owie. Um, it just kind of helps them feel better. It's like, oh, this, like, you know, when kids get hurt, they're like, I need a Band-Aid. This is kind of the replacement for Band-Aids because I hate Band-Aids. They're rarely necessary, but um, this helps stop, it helps coagulate blood um, because it has helichrysium, which is an oil that does that, and it also has other healing oils. So that one we love and use a lot. The next one is Sniffly's. This one, you can roll, um, well, I put a roller top just directly on it. All of these Kidsense oils you can use, you don't have to dilute them. So I just put a roller on the top and we roll this on chest and on feet when anyone has a runny nose. Even Chris and I too, it's not just for kids, but um, if you have a runny nose, you're feeling like you might be getting sick, along with other things, we use this a lot too. Um, and then, get down, get down. And the last Kid Sense one that we use a ton is the Tummy Dries. So this one has a bunch of tummy loving, digestive loving oils in it. So it helps um, anxious stomach, um, diarrhea, constipation, any kind of stomach issue. And Emery goes, or she uses this a lot and she, it's just like so cool to see like her, um, when she does have some sort of issue like that, a minor issue, um, she just knows that she has this and she knows how to use it. And it's just so cool to see your kids be empowered like that. And then the last oil is Copaiba. So this one we use, I use directly on, um, Zara's gums when she's teething. You, so using it neat is what it's called when you don't dilute. Uh, you can also dilute this one if you don't want to use it neat or straight. Um, but it works so well. If she wakes up in the middle of the night and I know it's because of teething and that's 90% of the time that's why she wakes up anyway. Um, we do use um, ibuprofen and we also use this and it works so well. So those are all of the clean products that we're loving. Um, babies don't use as many products as we do obviously. Um, I don't know. The girls are close. They use a lot of stuff, but it's so important, um, to make sure that all of the things that they're using are clean and non-toxic. You don't want to be putting those toxins, those hormone disruptors onto their tiny little bodies. So we tried tons of brands and these are just our favorites. So if you have any questions on any of them, let me know. I will try to link all of them. I'm not sure if I can find all of the like this Davida baby. I don't even know where we got this because it's we've had it for so long, but I'll try to link stuff below and um, I'll put more information too in the blog post that goes along with this. So look in the description below. Make sure you subscribe and like this video um, and have a great day. Thank you guys. Bye.